Hey, instrumental music class. So today we're going to learn how to use Sight Reading Factory. Um, so I want to take you through this first assignment. Assignment number one, rhythms number one is what it's called. So we're going to go over to Sight Reading Factory. Um, I just put that in my Google search bar. And hopefully you did this step already. If you did not do that, see, uh, see the Tuesday assignment as um, the video to explain how to register and everything. If you've not done that, you need to do that in order to do this assignment. So um, I'm assuming that you've already, at this point, um, set up your Sight Reading Factory by making your account available. I'm going to take you through it now that you're signed in, what you should do. So I'm going to go to Sight Reading Factory. I'm going to go to log in. I'm going to put in my username, <clears throat> password. Now I've got tons of classes because I teach choir and I've got our four sections of instrumental music. So I'm going to go with 3B. It's going to be down here. Now this is really important that you know which class you're in because if you just put it in a random class, like if you're in the third hour class and you put it in the fourth one, um, your name will show up in that fourth hour class and then I, in order to give you the grade, it's all confusing. So it's uh, much easier if you can make sure that you put it in the right class. So I'm going to go to 3B, Instrumental Music. Um, don't worry about this test example. That was the one that Mrs. Moeller used yesterday. So I'm going to click on that. If I'm in the 3B class, pretend I am. Um, I'm looking under Assignments. And right now there's only one assignment given rhythms number one. I'm going to click on that. And then uh, we're going to go to the assignment. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be counting rhythms. We're going to be clapping rhythms and then counting and clapping rhythms. So that's in the instructions. The first two lines, we're going to just count it. And I'll demonstrate what we want. Um, and then we're going to um, clap only um, the third line, clapping, and then uh, counting and clapping uh, the fourth line. So this is 16 measures long. Um, you're going to have 45 seconds to look at these rhythms. Now, if you don't want to use that amount of time, and there's a button I'll show you that says ready, you can just push that right away. Um, and that will get you going. Um, if you don't need that much time. For some of you guys, this is going to be a review, and this will be pretty easy for, for uh, the, those of you who don't really know how to read music too well. This is mostly for you, and I'm going to talk you through it. I'm going to demonstrate exactly what you need to do. I'm basically giving you uh, the correct answers, so if you watch this and do what I do, you'll be perfect just to kind of get us going. Um, this is worth 16 points, so for every measure you get correct, I'm going to give you a point. Um, if you just try, I know the math doesn't work out this way, but if you just try it and it's all, for some reason, it's not correct, um, I'll still give you at least half credit. So that's better than not getting any credit at all. So always try. That's how I always grade in this class. So let's go to uh, try it. So you have to push on try it. So are you with me? Let me try it. And the countdown will begin. Well, we can test our microphone. Um, if you've already tested it and you think it's fine, but I'll, I'll do it again. Uh, recording in five seconds, three. Mic check, mic check, hey, 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 whatever you want to say. <laughs> and uh, hopefully that's good. Um, I'll listen to it. Mic check, mic check, hey, 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 whatever you want to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we laughed together. Okay, sounds good. Sounds great. All right, this is a review of what's going on. The instructions are over here. It says follow the instructions in Google Classroom. Rhythms, number one. Um, up here, rhythm only this is our instruments. Later on, we could use our instruments um, to record with. Um, we're on the, our very first level, Sight Reading Factory level one. Time signature is 4-4 four, four time, four beats in a measure. A chord note receives a beat. So we talked about that a little bit in the rhythm videos that you watched earlier in the semester that I had you guys watch. If you're still not sure, I'm going to take you through. We're going to have half notes, chord notes, and whole notes today. The half notes are um, open circles with stems, and those get two counts a piece. Okay, a core note is a closed, like a filled in circle with a stem that gets one count piece, and then just a circle, an open circle by itself is a whole note, and that gets four counts or an entire measure, okay, as review. Um, hopefully for most of you, this is all just basic review. So, okay, where is, yeah, there it is, start assignment. So we're ready to go, we're gonna give it a crack. Starting assignment, so this counter is on, 45 seconds. I'm looking, that's four quarter notes right there. They each get a beat. These are half notes right here. They get two counts a piece. So this will be on beats one and three. Same thing here, um, one, two, three. Now what we're gonna do for half notes is we're gonna 
just say the first note of the beat that it falls on. Remember, there's one, two, three, four beats in each measure. Okay, so there's four beats in that one. So they'll each get one count. There's two half notes. These get two counts a piece. And then there's a whole note down here. And that gets four counts. And we're just going to hold that as like a one. Okay. So I'm going to start the metronome. We're getting ready to go. It's going to count me off. And I'm going to count the first two lines. Count. One, two, three, four, one, three, one, three, four, one, two, three. Next line. One, three, one, two, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, three, one. Oh, we're clapping now. So we're just clapping these rhythms. I'm going to do my best to stay in time with the metronome. Don't go fast here. Last line, count and clap. One, two, three, four, one, three, four, one, three, one. Okay, so I went through that whole process. I wonder if I can move the screen around a little bit. I can't. Okay, um, so just to, to remind you of what we're doing, we have the metronome going, and that's going to help keep your pulse, keep you in time. Okay, that's really important. Some of you are going to be fine with knowing how to count this rhythm, but your timing might not be great yet because you're not used to working with a metronome. So the tempo is real slow. We can speed that up if we want to. If you can see um, here, the core note equals 60 beats per minute. So that's one beat every second. It's pretty slow, um, but that was on purpose to kind of get us going. Okay. Um, you can listen to your recording if you want to listen back. Um, if you want to hear, um, I think this this will this will give you a pitch, but that's more for later if we were gonna if we were gonna play along with it and we needed the pitch to sound. Um, if you're feeling pretty good about it, you can submit it, and that's the last step you have to do. Um, or you could try it again. I mean, if if everything was terrible and you just I don't know for some some reason you wanted to abandon it and just start all over again, you could do that too. So I'm gonna go ahead and listen to it. Be sure we're good. Okay. So for, I guess that's just, just playing how, how that rhythm goes. Okay. I understand that now. Um, oh, okay. It says, listen to your recording. You could do it up here. So play was just, it's giving you an example of how, how um, that's played and, and, and the rhythm. So if you wanted to have an example of that, to hear it back, um, and then you could try it again if you want to, if that helps you as well. But remember, we're trying to count these rhythms out. Okay. Let me listen to it. Listen to your recording. There we go. Count. One, two, three, four, one, three. Okay, that comes in on beat three because one, beat two is inside of here. Three, Remember, there's four, four beats that have to be one counted. Two, three. And that's two counts also. One, three. So beat two and beat one, four are inside three, those. Three, That's why I didn't four, say those numbers. One, See these bar lines? One, After three, these bar lines, four, they three, always uh, you always start three, again on one again. Three, one. There's no fives or anything like that. Now I'm clapping line three. I'm clapping the I'm gonna do my best to stay in time with the metronome. Don't go fast here. Last line, count and clap. One, so together. two, three, four, one, three, four, one, three, one. Okay, so everything was great. I liked it. So then I'm going to press submit assi assignment, okay? I'm not really going to do that right now because I don't need to.
Um, but for you, the end of the row would be submit assignment. Press that button and then you're all good to go. So I hope that helps. And that's going to be your assignment for today. Thanks.